Hello coders and thanks for joining us for our first C Sharp challenge video. Now the way these are going to work is I'm going to present you guys with a coding challenge, ask you to um, ask you to complete it, and I'm going to ask you to not look at any online resources um, and really try to figure out these these challenges for yourself. Try to code them up, spend a couple days on them if you need to, and if you absolutely can't figure it out, or if you finally figure it out, come back um, to watch this second part of this video where I reveal the answer or at least one of the answers and show how I did it okay so the challenge this time is I want you to write a method that can find all numbers from 0 to 100 divisible by 3 7 and 9 and write them to the console without repeating any numbers okay so for instance 27 is divisible by 9 and 3 and you shouldn't be pr you shouldn't be printing 27 twice okay so that's the challenge guys so go ahead and pause the video and uh, go work on it come back whenever you have the answer and uh, compare it with mine okay alright so now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the solution or one of the solutions anyway because as you all know with code or if you don't know by now you will soon with code there are always infinite number of ways to do anything okay so what I did was I created a method that um, actually took in a start and an end which is going to be the values that we want to search through and then I pass it three numbers to check divisibility by so and I call this in static void main and uh, pass it from 0 to 100 okay so those are the, those are the values that we are checking and the numbers to be to be divisible by 3 7 and 9 so let's open up the method so what I did was a series of if else uh, if else if statements nested within a for loop and so my for loop goes ahead and it, it initializes i to begin at start and, it, and uh, i increments, so i increments while i is less than end. So it goes from 0 to 1,000, or I'm sorry, from 0 to 100. And what I do inside the for loop is I check i against all of the, all of the cases of the divisible, divisible numbers. Um, so I do the modulus operator. I talked about that in a previous tutorial. And what this does is it says, is I uh, divisible by this number? Okay, so that's what, that, this, that's what this statement says. And so what I do is I create the first if statement, which first checks if the number is divisible by all three. Um, and then I do these other if, else if statements that ask if it's divisible by this, uh, this uh, couple of numbers so basically it's checking every every possible condition so if it's one and two that are that is divisible by if it's one and three if it's two and three and if it's not divisible by any of those combinations then we're going to check um, the the divisible for each singular number okay so then else if it's divisible by just num one if it's divisible by just num two and if it's divisible by just num three okay um, and so that's how I did it guys so let's go ahead and run it to see the results okay so we can go ahead and start up at 0 0 is divisible by 3 7 and 9 if you divide um, so if you divide uh, 3 by 0 or 0 by 3 uh, 0 by 7 0 by 9 you're gonna get 0 so that's correct. Three, divis three is divisible by three. Um, so you can see, you can check all of these numbers and they should all be correct. Uh, down here we see uh, 63 is divisible by three, seven, and nine, so that's correct. All right, so it looks like it worked perfectly for my program. So um, yeah, uh, let me know what you guys got. Let me know if you guys had any trouble. What were your holdups, if you had any? Um, if you like these types of videos, go ahead and drop a like so that we know that and we can keep doing more of these. But as always, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.